Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're gonna to take a walk around an Iron Bull 8x16, 14,000 pound GVW deck over dump trailer. This particular unit is our heavy duty, 14K deck over dump. You'll notice it's got fold down sides, which we'll show you in a minute when we put the bed down. So let's take a walk around this particular unit. We'll show you all the standard features. There are only two options on this trailer. One would be the spare tire mount, which we don't always do. The second would be ramps, which we pretty much would always have on this particular model trailer, but technically those are optional features. This unit is equipped standard with the 10 inch I-beam frame, nice heavy frame for this style trailer. It is a unibody style frame, meaning there's one main frame, it's not a stacked tongue and then main frame. Up front it's got a nice heavy duty coupler, notice it's also got the integrated chain holder. It's got an adjustable cast coupler, it's got the 12K jack. If you're not familiar with the 12K jack, that's the biggest style jack they make, or that's readily available in this size trailer anyway. And it's got a spring-loaded inner leg that'll pull down. So you've got two different ways to adjust. You can pull the arm, swing down the inner leg, or you can extend the outer leg. It gives you plenty of adjustment, no need to carry around wood blocks or similar. Little detail on this particular unit we like, they use a T-style handle, not a paddle lock, but nicer style handle. Interstate battery, it's got a KTI pump, power up, power down. It's also got an integrated 110 volt charger. So you simply plug this into an extension cord with house current, and that'll keep your battery maintained. One thing you need to know, a lot of these battery trickle chargers are gonna be a, a two, a five, or an eight amp charge. Being that these are 140 amp hour batteries, you're gonna need to charge the battery more than overnight. Generally, something like this, you'd wanna leave uh, on for a weekend. This has a 20 foot all weather remote cord designed to be long enough to make it to your truck. We do have wireless uh, available for these as well if you would prefer wireless. Little detail on this toolbox, uh, many in the industry, believe it or not, would not use a gas shock. Benefit of the gas shock is it stops your toolbox lid from going too far and it also keeps it up out of your way. Sounds like a little detail but again take a look around. Many manufacturers don't use a shock and then they also put the weather stripping on the trailer. So they've got gussets where the tongue breaks back to the mainframe. They've got it plated on the top and then also uh, on the side. Wiring on this is a sealed harness. You've got a sealed whip running from the junction there up front and you've got another one that's going to run back the trailer and then finally you got a last uh, plug that goes across the back. Nice part about that is it's a fully sealed wire harness. Uh, they do clip the harness back going down the trailer sides. You've also got a safety prop if you ever need to work on the trailer and then you've also got a guard for your scissor hoist. So speaking of the scissor hoist, this is a 14,000 pound rated trailer. That is a bit of an oversized hoist. Generally on a 14k trailer you would see a 516 scissor. On this particular unit it's equipped with a 520. A 520 is rated in excess of the trailer. Most commonly we see a 520 on a triple axle 21,000 pound rated trailer. Uh, another feature that's kind of unique to Iron Bull, uh, very seldom would you see this on a 14K trailer. Uh, more commonly you would see something like this on a dual tandem would be the bed sill runners. I'm going to try and lighten this up for you so you can see it better. But those bed sills would tie together the scissor and the cross members. Uh, again, very seldom would you ever see that on a 14K trailer. But again, it's gonna really stiffen this trailer up. Also notice they uh, make good use of the steel. It also doubles as your ramp holder, so it doesn't have uh, too much unnecessary steel. Undermount ramps, they build a little bit heavier. They use heavier treads. Uh, these, I believe, are a two and a half inch tread, where in the industry, normally, we would see a one and a half or a two inch. This is a fold down side. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the side. I'm sorry, put the trailer down so we can fold the sides down. I'll show you a couple details on these while it's up in the air. It's got five hinges going down the sides. You can simply unbolt those. If you want to build your own sides on it, they give you stake pockets to do so. Grease certs on the uh, hinge points. You also have J hooks going down the sides where you can put a bungee cord uh, on to a tarp grommet. Big detail for me on this trailer, I've seen some manufacturers years ago that used to do fold down sides and they didn't put this keyway in and the side, especially on a 16 foot trailer, would get kind of floppy. 
Now, one thing on this, this is a 10 gauge, which is a little thicker. Some would use 11 or 12. But this integrated body stiffener certainly stiffens that up to where when you let it down, it's not gonna be uh, you know, flimsy on you. Tarp kit standard with a sail bar. Sail bar is gonna come back and uh, set in that groove. So there's a shot of your sail bar. Keeps the tarp nice and straight. Helps keep it from getting snagged. Simply pull it back and again set it in that groove. To deploy the sides, simply pull a pin on either side and then it auto latches whenever you bring it back up. They use a nice heavy tube corner post on that. This is a three way gate. Generally, on a seven wide or an eight wide trailer, you're going to either see a two or three way gate. This is a three way. So, this has a pin at the top if you unpin it set the gauge you can lay it down like a pickup bed uh, the inverse of that would be you can set the gauge and then pull it at the bottom and use it like a dump truck style bed or you can unlatch the cam bar lock in the middle and use it as a barn door generally speaking your barn door would be your most common also notice on the rear gate you've got a set of greasers with the hinges just gives some extra serviceability and then on this particular unit you also notice that it's got an auto latch whenever that door opens up uh, it's going to auto latch itself, which is a nice feature. Also, got banjo eyes built into the uh, into the back corner post for additional tie down points. Finally, on this back gate, a couple key details. This is a two and a half inch gate, where most in the industry are going to be a one and a half or a two inch. Uh, that's important as you put heavier aggregate or similar on there. That's a lot of weight against that door, so a nice heavy door is key. Then also, they put that integrated keyway that's in the other sides, the long sills in the front, also on the back door. It gives you a very strong back door. If you do build your sides up, they give you a cap at the back uh, that you could potentially use to help build it up all the way around. This trailer is powder coated. It's also got Dexter brand axles. It's got the never adjust brakes and the easy loop hubs. It's got a slipper spring suspension. If you're not familiar with slipper springs, a little bit heavier duty suspension than what you would typically get on, say, an eye to eye suspension, generally found on your heavier duty units. Of a little heavy duty detail, they put a 9 16th lug on this, or a 9 16th stud, I'm sorry, instead of a half inch stud on it. And then again, the Easy Loop hubs, the uh, homeowner can do his own bearing maintenance, simply pull that black cap off. There's a grease zerk behind there. Uh, you read the owner's manual, it's fairly simple to do your own bearing maintenance on a trailer like this. Put the bed down, we'll show you the fold down side. Underneath there, that is a 16 inch on center structural channel cross member. Some in the industry are gonna use a form cross member, not a channel. The channel's just gonna be a little bit stronger. Between the channel cross members on 16s and that bed runner, it's got a nice strong bed frame on this particular unit. And you got your spare tire mount at the front. That is not a standard, and that is pretty much the only thing that wouldn't be standard on this particular unit. So again, there's your tarp kit. It's got bearings on either side for greasability. It's got a spring latch handle. If you want to deploy your sides, fairly simple. Simply pull that out. Pull your other side out. let it down it's not too heavy one hand there is able to guide it down half decent so it's an 18 inch side this has a uh, 10 gauge floor on it of course you got your d-rings in the corners again if you did want to remove the sides and use it as a flatbed or if you want to build your own sides up it simply pull those off and build your own stake sides. This trailer also comes with a 232 warranty. They cover the full trailer two years, structure three years, and then they do a two year roadside assist. And it covers the truck and trailer for items like being locked out, uh, if you need hydraulic fluid, and if you need a tire change, etc. More details on that on our website.
If you have any questions about the trailer or any of our other trailers, feel free to visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com or you can give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.